How to add products to Shopify from CJ Dropshipping. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can add the dropshipping products from CJ Dropshipping, which is a very cool platform that will allow you to resell or make some dropshipping um, commissions from the products to your Shopify store. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow the tutorial and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to visit cjdropshipping.com then you have to uh, sign up for an account. After that you have to sign in to your Shopify store if you have an account. If you don't it is very easy to sign up. Now let's say that we have signed in in our accounts. The first thing that you need to do is to go ahead right here with this uh, vertical sidebar. Right here we have find products, cart, etc. I'm going simply to select the store icon. Within the store icon, we have a lot of options. We have the shops that are available to connect to CJ Dropshipping. So we are going simply to click on Shopify. When you click on Shopify, it will demand you the authorization to be added. You haven't uh, authorized any store yet so we are going to add the store the Shopify store simply we are going to click on authorize here we have the CJ dropshipping app click on authorize and then we are good be going good to go now we have the CJ dropshipping I have the uh, app installed already in my store I will click on open and I will see the next step to do now here we have the CJ uh, dropshipping app. Welcome to CJ. Here we have the uh, we have to grant the permission or authorize the CJ to connect to our store. Here we have logged here. Confirm. I authorize this. Click on confirm, and it will take us to the Shopify uh, store that we have. Let's see. Here we have confirmed. I will wait for a little time and here we have it this is the authorization success now as you can see here the store is ready and when i click again on the store and shopify normally i will see the shopify store and the shopify account here here we have it this is the reference of my shopify store if i go to shopify and here we have it on the dashman or on the admin dashboard here we have it this is the same Let's say here that we have uh, added the store. I am simply going to add the product. Go to find products and here we have the platform products. You have to, I'm going to uh, delete that message. Never remind me, here we have it, no thanks. Here we have the marketplace or the store. You can go ahead and search for any product that you are going to sell and then simply you are going to select that and list it to drop uh, to be drop shipped on Shopify. Let's say that we have we are all on on the clothing niche or, or we are on the accessories niche and then we want to sell the product on our Shopify store. So I will go with this toy. I think that it looks uh, good and it has uh, some water right here uh, spraying so this is a very very uh, attractive to the summer season simply i'm going to click on the product i will see here the product we have the drop shipping of the product we have the wholesale the pre-order inventory and etc if you want to get that product to your store here simply click on add to my products click on it and it will be added to your products directly here we have added now this is not the thing that we have to do but this is just the beginning so when you see here the products when you click on here my products you will see uh, the item added I will give it a couple seconds to load up here we have the toy this is the most important part. You have to list the item into your Shopify store. Click on list. And here we have the product information, the store selection, the product type. This is not uh, a jewelry. I'm going to put here toys. 
I'm going to add this. The vendor my store, I will let it my store, or you can go ahead and put another name. The title, the collection, if you have a collection, the tags also. The variant pricing. Here we have the price. You can go ahead and put a bulk revise. For example, here we have the pieces. Here we have all the variants and each one has its own price. The CJ price is set to $6. The shipping fees is 14.95 or 59. Now the total drop shipping price will be like that. Our price, you can go ahead and put the specific amount that you want or you can go ahead with the bulk. I'm going to put it right here for let's say 60 or 69.99 click on ok and it will set up the price when you finish setting up the price you are going to verify the images here we have the images and you can select and deselect the images that are going to be added to your store and we have finally the description here we have the overview of the product details informations and the photos or the images that should be on the product page here we have the template listing when you finish everything here click on simply list it now we will wait for here the listing is in progress we'll wait until the listing will finish and we will receive a notification saying that this product is added to our Shopify store the migration or the transfer will take a little bit of time between two to three minutes and when you finish that you will see the product here we have the product listed as you can see it is uh, here on the section of the store products i'm going right here to the products of my shopify store go back and refresh the page of the products and i will search for that particular product now i'm going to scroll down a little bit until I find that product and here we have it this is the rocket launcher toys outdoor rocket water pressure lift sprinkler and etc I'm going to click on that product here it will showcase the uh, description the media the variation the quantity and of course everything now for this particular part of the title I see it a little bit long so i'm simply going to put here or uh, cut this title rocket launcher toys outdoor rocket pressure lift i'm going to reduce here and make that also i'm going to delete all of that and here we have it click on save and i will see that product on my store click on view and here we have it this is the product image, the variation, the quantity, the custom quantity, the overview or the description, and also the customized images. This is it. Now, let's go ahead to uh, CJ drop shipping, and then I will let you see how we can go ahead and make the fulfillment of that product. When you add that product, simply go to store product. Select that product, simply click on the three dots, and here we have the option of CJ fulfillment. Click on it, and here we have the feature is only applied to Shopify. The fulfillment we will be by CJ Dropshipping or the CJ company. The inventory managed by CJ. You are going to confirm these steps. Click on confirm and it will synchronize the product from the shop of Shopify and also the source of that product in CJ Dropshipping. Now it is fully synchronized. As you can see here, we have the matched product. It is connected to, from the store right here to the source right there. And here we have it. You can go ahead and make, for example, some email marketing about that product or you can go ahead and set some google ads or some facebook ads and etc that was very simple and very easy that was all for today's video i hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content 
and hope to see you soon on the next one.